Hey guys, this is Pate here. Uh, lately I've been getting a lot of questions about my layout, so today I'm going to bring you a video tutorial and I will show you how to create something like this. Oh yeah! So, before we get started, I'm going to show you a few examples. Here's a layout by Sebastian K94, who I believe started this whole layout thing with his scoreboard and as you can see he's a real pro with this kind of editing stuff and then there's Xenon who has used the layout few times and Killer Nacho and then there's my green layout uh, which I use for my monocolor battles and sorry for borrowing other people's layouts but I did it for the greater good to help you guys so there are many different kinds of layouts Everybody uses their own creativity to make one. Mine is really simple, but it's good enough for me and I've been getting good feedback, so thanks for that. But now let's get started. How to create a layout. So we want to create something like this. And uh, I'm using Photoshop, so let's choose a new blank file. Uh, wide 480 and height 360. So we have a new blank file. I'm going to use color orange. So let's paint it orange like that. And now you wanna put there some uh, question mark boxes. So I am using those uh, Mario blocks. You can use whatever you want. And I'm going to make that a little bit smaller like that. And then let's copy and paste. Control C, Control V and let's put those boxes on their places so yeah now we should have something like this so let's just put some names on their places I'm going to write my name speed up there and yeah now looking good and then you can write your opponent's name, whoever that is. And yeah, let's put that on its place. Yeah, looking really good. And now you can just put something extra if you want. Uh, I'm just going to write my name over there uh, with Dynasty font because I think it's really cool and I like Chaos. So then just save the file on your desktop, for example and you don't have to use Photoshop, you can use whatever program you desire as you can see this is really easy to make and here's your layout template or a frame, whatever you wanna call it so now let's move on to the hard part okay here we are at Sony Vegas and I'm using the version 7.0 because Pro anywho let's drag the frame over there to the timeline then insert video track above it and drag the battle video then stretch the frame so that it will cover the whole video like that and now press event pan and crop and we get a new window here and then there's maintain aspect ratio choose no and now we can stretch the video as we want so we can fit it into the frames and now let's just put it in its place uh, uh, looking pretty good and as you can see there are those little black edges so go to the frame uh, event pan and crop uh, maintain aspect ratio no so now there won't be any black edges anymore so now let's insert a few more video tracks and then skip to the part where our first Pokemon comes out in this case it's Skyter right over there so drag a Skyter avatar and put it on the timeline and you can see it's pretty big so let's make it smaller event pan and crop and stretch from the edges looking pretty good and let's try to move it to its place but as you can see there are some invisible edges and to go around that we have to 
use another tool there's a track motion tool click that and we get a new window and now we can freely move the skyter avatar to its right place still too big so let's make it smaller and I'm just going to make this window a bit bigger so you can see better yeah much better so now let's just stretch that it will fit the uh, Mario block question mark box whatever uh, now it's pretty good so press X and now let's skip to the part where opponent's Pokemon comes out Mesprit and now let's drag the Mesprit avatar to the timeline like that and let's do the same thing to this Mesprit avatar as we did to the Skyter one and I'm going to do, do my copy paste magic and make it smaller and now drag motion and let's put it in its place let's make it smaller still not good let's do the rest with event pan and crop okay not quite let's stretch it once more now it's pretty good okay I'm going to make the screen a bit smaller again and now let's stretch those avatars that they will cover the whole video like that really good and let's watch the result Skyter comes out and Mesprit comes out yeah looking really good and let's do the same thing to our mill tank over here shall we okay let's skip to the part where the mill tank goes down okay right about now here okay and now press S key on the mill tank clip and we can saw it in half and then press event FX and you can see all these new options here press black and white add and then OK and now we can turn it to black and white as the Milton goes down I like to use black and white as a symbol to faint it Pokemon but you can throw an X over it if you want to and if you wanna add status symbol you just have to make an own timeline for it and you can also switch the avatar's color like the killer nacho does or better yet you can create your own style it's all up to you. So, thanks for watching. There were almost 10 people asking me about the layout and something that the layout is a program that works with Wi-Fi. Some people wanted me to give them a layout, but I'm not going to do that because the layout is just a background with question mark boxes and names on it. It's that simple, no magic. So, I hope the mystery of the layout is now revealed. And hopefully this video was helpful. I'm not sure because this was my first tutorial, so leave me comments. And you are free to ask more questions, but use your common sense first. And if this video sucks, you can make a better tutorial yourself. Uh, this is how I do it, and it works perfect for me. I made this video to help my subscribers who have gotten me this far. 300 is closing in so I guess I have to start thinking about the subscriber special again uh, so you guys are awesome thanks spade is out peace <laughs>